Kavita was a very talented web designer. She was excellent with her work and had an offer to travel abroad to work as a senior web designer. She received a good salary and benefits. Unfortunately for Kavita, the branch the company sent her to did not have native English speakers. All the employees understood English but most preferred to speak in their own native language even when Kavita was around. It got so bad that Kavita started to feel like an outsider. She decided to take a language course. No one knew about this. She became good with the language and gradually understood what her colleagues said. Whenever they said something funny, she would giggle, but her colleagues would not notice. The CEO of the tech company was a kind man with a good reputation and integrity. He held this position for 15 years without any scandal. Most of the employees knew and admired him for this. One Friday morning, Mr. Nelson, the CEO, was furious and summoned his employees for a meeting. The company discovered that some of the employees were involved in fraudulent activities. He spoke against corruption and warned that anyone culpable for the fraudulent activity would be held accountable. He dismissed the meeting and they all went to their workstation. When it was lunch, the colleagues met in the lunchroom. Kavita usually sat close to her colleagues who spoke a different language to learn more about the language. One lady started to speak in the group. She said, we have to get rid of him. They immediately looked around to make sure no one understood what was said. Kavita pretended that she did not understand and smiled back at them. When they looked at her, another lady from the group said in their native language, how? We have tried to frame this man for a crime several times, but it has all been unsuccessful. You remember, right? She pointed her finger at Liu. Liu, who looked like the leader of this small group, said, But the evidence was weak, and the authorities found out about it. I don't want us to try to fire him. I want us to put an end to his life. The others gasped in disbelief. Juanita, who was part of the group, said, It shouldn't go that far. Leo was furious and said, This man has deprived us of living lavish lives. He deserves to die. The others, fearing being confronted by Leo, nodded in agreement. Kavita sat there quietly, not knowing what to do. Watch out for part two. And don't forget, people who are amazing, help others to be amazing. Thank you.